Hi friends, I'm so happy you're here. Today is day four of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. I am playing again in my small little handmade journal. This journal has all blank pages, so it's a fun way to do these small five minute challenges. I'm going to start off with some collaged elements. try to pull a few scraps to begin with. This helps me to have fewer choices to choose from as I go um, for this collage. If I have too many choices, I find that I can get overwhelmed and then I take too long to make decisions. And this can really be um, debilitating. Instead of enjoying myself and making the art, I agonize too much over, you know, what I'm going to do or the pieces of paper I'm going to play with that day. So it can be better just to pull a small selection to begin with. This piece is really fun. It's on a piece of deli paper and I used a paint marker to make repetitive marks. I love making pre-made um, sheets like this that are full of repetitive marks. They make really great paper to pull from when I am doing little spreads like this or um, in really any of my art journaling. I pull from these papers all the time. And I think making those repetitive marks and making those papers can actually be really fun and really relaxing. It's also a really good way to use some of the supplies that maybe you don't use all of the time. The marks on this paper that I'm ripping up were made just with a um, sponge, um, you know, a little foam wedge that you would use for stenciling. I usually use a um, makeup sponge when I do my stenciling. This is a Matisse paint. It is a fluid acrylic and it has a little bit of a gloss finish to it, which is really fun. It is different than my other acrylic paints that I normally work with. I thought it'd be fun today to put some collage elements down first and then come back in with the paint. A lot of times for these little spreads, I'll put the color down first. But I think it's fun to continue to switch things up. Um, otherwise, it can be easy to possibly get in a rut. I like to have an assortment of different brushes on hand, different paint brushes. I like to have a variety of um, different sizes and this helps me to make fun different marks with those. Now I'm using my Stabilo All pencil and dipping it directly into my water cup. I'm going to come back in with a um, paintbrush here with, that is loaded with some water and to spread that pigment around a little bit more. I sometimes will use that Stabilo all just completely dry and then add the water in, but I, I tend to like the look just a little bit better if I dip that pencil into the water first. I'm going to zap this with a little bit of heat while drying, this gives me time to think about what I want to do next. And also it is difficult to put anything over that Stabilo All um, while it is still wet unless I want it to smudge, which sometimes I do, but I didn't want that necessarily for today. This is a white gesso and I'm going to make some marks just with my finger. I like to use the cap as a little palette. Add 
adding in a little bit more interest with some scribbles. This is just a regular pencil. And I've reached the end of my five minutes. I'm liking today's spread. It, it, I kept it pretty simple. As I'm looking at it now, um, I'm thinking that it needs just a little bit more detail. And so I'm going to use my black china marker and just accentuate those circles that I did with the white gesso a little bit more. Not really changing too much, but just lifting those circles a little bit from the page. I don't think you can ever go wrong with adding a few more marks on your page if it's looking pretty bare. The difference between that the china marker I'm using now and the Stabilo All is this pencil that I'm using now um, is not water soluble, so it is permanent after you put it on. And it has more of a waxy feel. Not quite as waxy as um, a crayon or something like that, but it, it does not change if you were to add water on top of it. All right, and there we have it all done for today's spread for the five minute art challenge. Check back in tomorrow for another project. Have a great rest of your day.